Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique house. It's your boy ECO, and I'm here with the lovely official Miss Jamaica. Walk on. Hey, man. Say, man, we got a special guest in the house today, man. This guy right here, man, if you if you ever feel like you can't make it, man, this guy give you great inspiration, man. I, you know, I know I read up on the save from New York, Brownfield, New York, but I seen him with palm trees behind him the last time I seen him. To be honest, I don't. Hey, I, oh, I know this, but hey, man, this man here, man, like I said, I never would have thought it would have happened, man. But here today on Boss Talk One Hundred and One, man, the great Shannon Briggs. What's oh, going on, baby? Thank you, champ. Thank you for having Save, me. Save, man. Thank, thank you, you for thank you, coming, champ, man. Thank you, champ, man. Thank you, champ, man. The champ thing, man. It's it, hey, man. It done revived everything, man. Yeah, let's go, champ. And it's done help so many people. Facts. facts. Say, man, that. How did you come up with that? Oh man, I hit I had hit a point in my life, champ, where I was uh I was down and now I was depressed. I uh, had ballooned up in weight. I was about four hundred and three pounds. Yeah. And, um, I had you know walked away from boxing for a few years. I had been out of the game. I was eating a lot. Um, I would have been prescribed. Uh, what is it called? Psych medication. Psych med yeah, 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 yeah. Depression. <laughs> and I was actually taking like Depreco, Seroquel, Zoloft, Paxil, and um, I, I was 403 pounds, man. And I eventually, wow. um, I was just down. Now I eventually started, you know, I, I opted to get off, get off, can I got off prescription drugs. And I started using cannabis, and it eventually led to me just one day just sitting down, telling myself, man, not feeling good about myself, and saying, yo, you a champion, man. You gotta, you know, my entourage was gone, my yeah. friends, my money was gone and I just basically I hit a point where I was like you know I just had my daughter and um she was a changing point too for sure and then you know I started selling champ and one day I said let's go champ let's go champ to push myself in how yeah. hard was it for you to get out of, get out of that depression <clears throat> yourself because there, I see so many people in the limelight who you know for us seeing people like oh they have money but people don't don't realize that problems can come to anybody depression can come to anyone. Right. Yeah. So, but you see some people who commit suicide because of depression. Right. I mean, some people who can't come out of that state. How hard was it for you to really just mentally tell yourself, "Well, I need to just get out of this"? And I mean, it was it was a, it was a struggle in a sense. So it and how long did it take you? It took me about <laughs> two three years, I think. <laughs> okay. Before I finally, and I was eating a lot. I was using food as a uh, comfort. Yeah, exactly. Comfort. You know, I was doing that and. Um, <clears throat> And I was drinking at the time. I had been drinking since I was like 13, 14 years old. Um, I had picked that up as a teenager because I was homeless. Me, I mean, I had yeah, my yeah. Mom. I lost a home, and I, I was living from place to place. And one of the neighborhoods that I moved to, Flatbush, which is a West Indian mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. I've I've know about, we've, yeah. We've been to Flatbush, actually, when we ate at the restaurant. Yeah, so they used to drink around there in the bush. Yeah, so yeah. I started drinking around 13, 14, started with 40s, and then, you know, but I was never into smoking. Boy. And then I picked up cannabis, like I said. But it took me about about two, three years to, to when I was like, you And know, it wasn't anybody who actually, like, tried to help you through it? Yeah, it was many people. But, again, you know, I had been boxing since I was, like, 15, 16. Right. And I think it was a combination of, yeah. you know, probably that being hit in the head. You know what I mean? I fought <laughs> five of the hardest punches in boxing Yeah, history. yeah. I fought Francois both the one of the hardest hitters. George Foreman. George Foreman. Yeah, Phoenix yeah. Phoenix Lewis, Vitaly Klitschko. Yeah. Ray Mercer. And uh, Sergey Lakovich, real big punches. So I think the combination of that, and then my childhood was, you know, pretty intense. You know, what I'm saying only child, I lost my mom. Yeah, yeah. She died on my birthday. My pops died in prison. Wow. These are the things that you know. You went only, through a lot. Yeah, I went through a lot. But I say that to say all that made me stronger. To be honest mm -hmm. with you, it made me. I, I guess I was already strong, you know. But it made me stronger to have to hit so so many down points in my life and then build myself up. So when I was about 37, 38, and I was at a down point, I um, I, I was always a reader. So yeah, I was looking yeah. to, you know, find out, you know, read. I went to, like, private school as a kid. Yeah. <clears throat> you know, and so I was always into reading. And I was I was actively trying to find ways to heal myself from yeah. depression. Man. From, you know what I'm saying? So I was I was reading a lot about cannabis. I was reading about different things. And um, 
I was, you know, that I, cannabis, boy, they got a lot of people uh, uh, making money too. I believe because they all investing. Yeah. You know, that's been a, that's been a new thing. You know nice, what I mean? Nice. Everybody from everybody you read up on, that's mm-hmm. what they're doing, man. So like and it's said, helping people yeah, it's too helping a lot. People, for, for so sure, sure. the thing, I, I, I so you coming up young, uh, the greats. I, I know Mike Tyson, and I, I, I read up on a few things on yeah. you. How was that experience seeing him come from? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The boy was serious, <laughs> man. Wasn't he? Yeah, like, like. <clears throat> so, were you, you, he, you're younger than him. Yes, brother. Yes. So, so you seen that, and did that give you like oh, I, I can motivation. make it? Yeah, yeah I motivation. can make it. I mean, well, you know, I didn't, I never thought honestly that I'd be you a boxer. Never thought it. Nah, because you know, I grew up only child. My mom spoiled me rotten. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I yeah, went yeah, to yeah. Private school. Yeah. You know what I mean? I went to Catholic high school for a year. Uh, so I was always living good. You know what I mean? I didn't have to do nothing. You know what I mean? <laughs> I always had to hustle with me and try to get jobs and all that, but. When we lost our home when I was 13, yeah, yeah, that's when I had to like live from house to house. And that's when I, you know what I'm saying, I got serious in the boxing. But Mike was a motivation. So again, like I said, I wasn't expecting to be no boxer. But when I hit rock bottom by the time I was 16, 15, 16, I was getting in trouble, getting arrested. And um, I was in the streets. I was really in the streets. My pops was on the run. Uh, he wound up getting caught and going to prison and dying. So for me... I, my whole life changed, and that's when I became a hardened, more, more hardened person. And I got into boxing. Luckily, I had skills. You know what I mean? I, and I, I like to people slip. use boxing as an outlet. Yeah, yeah, uh, lifesaver. lifesaver. But, yeah. I'm I'm from Marshall, okay, Jefferson Marshall. Texas. You, yeah, you. But he beat George Foreman, so he ought to know Marshall. That's oh, where George from. Yeah, yeah, okay. I met George. I walk up to him at the, and I never would have thought I'd have met George and Shannon Briggs. This is crazy okay, for me. Thank you, because I met <laughs> I met him at the uh, J C Penney's over there across mm-hmm. from where I had the store at. And I walk up to him. I'm like, dude, you. Look Look familiar, y'all. <laughs> oh, tripping man. on him because I ain't even, you know, I'm, I'm at home, so I'm like, what? Is, you know, I ain't really think about him. Right. But then it hit me when I seen people start asking for autographs. Okay, but okay. Yeah, 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 but very cool champ. cat, that's man. Yeah. Now, but that was a that was a that was a fight that pretty much did it like revive like you. That was a championship fight, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. I, I won the title. The, yeah, my, the first I was my first title. I won the linear championship from him. But it yeah. was a tough fight. Again, my, uh, my mom had died on my birthday, and the fight was. Uh, you know, not, not too far after, and it was something wow. that um, I think kept me kept me up and kept me strong, and motivated me for the fight. But the opportunity that he gave me was life changing. I was at a down point in my life. Yeah, I you know I wound up getting a very close decision. Yeah, could have went anyway. Yeah, um, I got I won the title and it was life changing. I can go down the rest of my life. And here I was a kid sleeping on the train a few years before that. Me and my mom, and now here we are. I was a, you know have, she had died, but I had won the title. Yeah, she gave me a, a sense of of worth, self worth. So how old was you when she died? Twenty five. Yeah, yeah, that's about how old I was when my mom died. So, yeah, yeah, about the same. But it was about ninety six for me. Yeah, it was ninety six. See, we, it, <laughs> like, like yep. she died of cancer though. Yeah, and and it, it, she was forty four. Yeah. So my mom's yeah. is fifty one. So yeah. yeah, she had an overdose. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, I read up on that too, man. I just like I said, it's just crazy, man, that how you 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 got to know about resilience to be in boxing, nice. man. You got to be able to bounce back. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, so when you came back from the weight, you know, losing the weight and getting back to your true self, you know, you thought to yourself and came to yourself. Yeah. Uh, that that right there had to be that's something else. People yeah. don't you you know a lot of people they count themselves out and they, they don't come back you know but you was well, I had a lot of haters so I was like that helps yeah yeah, yeah. That I had motivation <laughs> a lot that of people was happy to see me off my good foot yeah so yeah I yeah was like you know what I'm saying I got fat it was like oh you'll never come back I remember I had I had you know dreadlocks I had locks yeah I don't like to say dreadlocks I had locks, locks. for like 27, 28 years I just have blonde dreadlocks you know? I yeah. saw that yeah. when did you cut it um well when I was going through my depression okay. um. The first time I tried cannabis, it was one day. I, I my um, a friend of mine who was a chef, he had left it at my house. I wasn't a smoker. I wind up uh, hitting it like two, 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 two o'clock in the morning, two, three o'clock in the morning, and um, I had an experience, man. I wow. just like I started crying, and oh, I, wow. I just started. I was four hundred and three pounds, and I started crying. I was, I was just. I don't even know why. I just then I envisioned myself in shape traveling the world. I hadn't wow. been home for a while and I was eating, eating crazy. And I envisioned myself traveling the world in shape. And I was like, damn. And I was crying. I went in the house and I fell asleep. And when I woke up the next morning, I just walked in the bathroom with no, with no thought. And I just went in the bathroom and started shaving my head bald. Oh. <laughs> Without question. You know what I'm saying? Wow. And um, oh. my wife walked in and she started crying. She said, <laughs> oh my I was, God. I was wondering if you yeah. were mad at that time. Yeah. She yeah. started, she said, you went crazier. <laughs> <laughs> You know, she's like, you went crazy. And she cried. Yeah, oh, no, I was like, nah, I'm okay, I'm okay. I was like, nah, everything is good. And she was like, well, I was like, no, I don't, I don't know what it is. But then it hit me. 
his blunt was outside, you know? Wow. So I went outside, I hit it a couple more times, and again, I felt for the first time in years, my imagination came back. Okay. Wow. Yeah, I had wow. some block in my brain where I, That's crazy. My brain where I couldn't think about positive and seeing myself in a better place, and here I was now. So when I hit the tree, I was like, oh, snap. So right. I called my boy. I was like, yo, Jerome, get over here. <laughs> and that's so crazy because some people talk about whenever you do that, it clouds your judgment. But here, it actually unclouded your judgment. <laughs> that's right. That's right. And you were right. able to, you know, really get into that imagination state that right. you needed to needed that. progress. Yeah, but but the thing that, that sticks out to, to me about you is like 60, it was 65, 67 fights. Yeah. Six 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 losses. Learning lessons. Okay, and then there was one draw. <laughs> yes, brother. Okay, but there was fifty three KOs. Something like that, right? Yeah, 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 that's a lot of knockouts, yeah, man. Yeah. Say, man, you ain't playing in that yeah, ring, man. Yeah. So oh, that's my. your gift, man. <laughs> well, you know, I was funny because I remember we was uh, I was young. I was about sixteen. I had just got into boxing, and um, my mommy and my mom we was living in this little apartment we had. We had came across this apartment, and I remember we. I don't know if it was like. Welfare, some she had. We had one hundred twenty dollars. It was her welfare check. Some came, mm -hmm. and um, she was like, "Shannon, you know, we, we had like eighty dollars left." And she was like, "I said, Mom, you gotta buy me some boxing boots." Wow. I went to the gym, and I think I, I think I could. I think do I it. got some. Yeah, and she was like, "Boy, we can't. This is our last money." And I begged. I said, "Mom, Mom, please." I begged the Mom, please. You know, I got. I used to get my way. Yeah, so yeah, I'm, yeah. No, you, I'm you're the only child. I'm the only child. Oh I'm yeah, you getting that? You getting I said, that? Mom, she said, "This is our last that. money." But I never forget. She and said, she did it. "No, she said, she said, Shannon, you got asthma. You can't beat these big boys. They big and ugly. They gonna get my boy." <laughs> I said, "No, ma, I can fight. I'm telling everybody in the gym saying I got, I got it." And uh, she said, "If I, if you give this last money, she said, and you, and you see, you get hurt. What, what I'm gonna do if they hurt my boy?" She said, "You gotta promise me something. That's you love. gotta, you gotta get in there and knock him out fast." I said, Ma, I promise, I swear. And right now, I hold the record for the most first round knockouts. Wow. wow. Now that's so crazy. Well, I already know a lot. That's that yeah. promise. That's that promise he promised yeah, his mama. Man. Oh, yeah, that means something. That <laughs> means right. something, bro. That's why. Let's go, it, it, I bet it's hard to get fights, huh? Yeah, it's pretty hard, but it's cool, too. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody want to get cool. knocked out. It's cool. It was scary. So, so, so. Right now, what's what's stemming for you? You know, I see a lot of the guys. I see Mike Tyson and Roy Jones yeah. get back in the ring. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? There's a couple of things they bubbling. They scared. They scared. All of them scared. They ain't finna get in there nah, with you. I break them all. Look at that, man. You see I that? see it, man. I that? seen it when you hit the game with the big pound. I'm nah. I'm good. <laughs> chill, I'm, chill. I'm good. <laughs> Let's go, champ. So uh, I mean, you know the thing I say. How, how's Dallas treating you though? Oh man, I love Dallas, yeah. man. Thanks to Charleston White, brought me to Dallas. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? came to kick it. Ain't that boy something, man? Oh, Let me man. go and talk yeah, about him, man. Don't make else, me get man. started, man. That boy, that's been. Yeah. A, hey, that's been my. Hey, man, that's my gym. Yeah, that's You're my boy, man. <laughs> Yeah, I came out here to kick it with him. I'm loving it, man. Came out to Fort Worth, met with the whole team. Uh, yeah, yeah. You know, Uncle, Uncle Head, uh, Dewberry. Uh, actually came out here with a partner of mine. Really? My brother, Chino Johnson, we, a.k.a. Star. Okay. And my brother, Se Evans, man. We came out here to uh, do some... Uh, we were actually working on a charity a charity situation up. right now with, with, the, with the country of Haiti. Yeah. Yeah, so we're working with that. So we just all came out here to, you know, meet with the team and... Yeah, we look at some other yeah. I seen you uh, on the juvenile deal helping those kids, yeah. man. So I said, man, yeah. I'm glad to be in the circle. You do bear all y'all. I'm like, man, Charleston and put me in. in I'm in, you know, because I, I that's my heart too. So yeah. just helping people. That's something that we kind of linked up about. That was that's what like minds, man, like spirits, man. It, things that God have for you just kind of pulls you together, Indeed. man. And that's the thing I know that that works around what we're doing, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Indeed. Yeah, so yeah. the thing, it's therapeutic for you to be here in that seat, and the things you say to go through that microphone can help somebody man and that's Thank that's you, what brother. it's about thank you brother yeah wanna, what you was about to say okay. no i was gonna say no you, and leading to what you were saying about the juveniles we met with miss king last night yeah yeah that's that, that. she yeah. came over and gave me hey i got a little ward man yeah, hey, no, I i'm feeling some type of way say so, so yeah so so what's up with you no nah, everything good you know what I mean? yeah 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 so so last night was it what did y'all do i mean did anybody go anywhere you don't want to tell me the detail oh yeah. man we was everything was good had I a good time if you you know <laughs> i didn't get invited man oh no nah, it wasn't even like that nah you know we stumbled across it to be honest uh, when, with you. okay so you gonna be here tomorrow or what yeah, time I, you leaving i actually had to leave tomorrow i think in midday midday, midday? But i'm coming back because we're working on an endeavor right because i'm gonna set you up i got a facial and, and 50 went to where i, I sent even charleston over there I I want to set you up, man, on at a uh, uh, touching skin. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna I send you over that. there. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I want I you. I, I'll you set you up, man. Oh, I can get you on. probably early in the morning, maybe. For real? Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, oh, I'm gonna push I'm it through. I'm gonna call it back. No, no, I got you. Come on, it can be before you get out of here. As long as you make the appointment, I'm gonna call up. Yeah, and I'm gonna send you through there. That'd be phenomenal. She gonna, yeah, they gonna show up. It's gonna happen. Yeah, you get the you go get you get the massage and everything. You know they yeah, you done got face. See y'all buy money. See, I have my first one. I'm ugly, but I'm funny, champ. My wife had to force me. I'm over there screaming and screeching, trying to figure out what they doing to me. They had smoke in my face. She was like, just sit there and take it. You know? <laughs> we, we women like, you know, couples massages, but men are, act, y'all act like yeah, we, y'all so yeah, tough, thug like y'all can't do it. <laughs> no, I love but massages. I try to get yeah. them every That was his can. first. Yeah. Yeah, that was yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. She don't. No, I ain't my first. Wait anybody, a minute. From anybody other than me. Yeah, oh, okay, I put okay. it to work. You okay, know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Jam. That's why I got married. You know what I, mean? <laughs> I really just wasn't. I just. I was like, man, I never did all that, man. I don't know. I seen it in the movies. You know, I'm country. Oh, okay. But I like it now. Okay, I'm going yeah. back. They say I can come back. Yeah, it's good. I didn't act too, right. Man. It's great anti. -agency. And Charleston didn't make it no better when he was over there. Yeah. So I didn't act right. He didn't act right. We liked to been out, but he, they came back <laughs> over here to the store again, and they was like, yeah, anybody you got. Anybody that you say can come through, they can come through. So you definitely going through there in the morning, man. I appreciate you. As a matter brother. of fact, I don't know what time they if they leaving out of night. We'll we call them. Call. We're gonna set it all up. Oh, for real? Yeah, man. Come on, wow. man. Why I tell them you here, it's going down, man. Let's all our jam. people, man. We love our people, oh, man. Oh man, I love it out here. I might not leave. Say like, we ain't trying to get you to leave. We <laughs> hey, yo, Evans, man, we're gonna change our flights, man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, but, man. So I wanna know, um, from a mother's perspective. If, say, my son wanted to box, mm -hmm. and I'm a worrisome ward thinking about all the concussions that you can have. Yeah. Just like when people talk about football, the same thing same that thing. goes with that. Mm -hmm. It's a dangerous sport. You can get killed. You can get hurt. How can you comfort me and tell me it is safe, so to say, to have my son do something like that? Oh, man. <sighs> Let me tell you. I think if you, if you look for the right trainer, it's all about the uh, – Who's supervising it? If you're watching it, if it's just you sending your kids somewhere, you know, you're not being watched here, then as a parent, no. But it, you can get hurt doing anything, to be honest with yeah. you. And I think for, for young black fighters, uh, young black men, boxing is a great way to to get out frustration, to learn discipline, you know, to uh, to create character. You know, boxing is a thing that yeah. you have to yeah. confront yourself. Unlike yeah. team sports, whereas, you know, you can come out and sit down and you're relying on the team, you're relying on yourself. You have to face yourself. You have to face your fears, and that builds character. So yeah. boxing is a great, even if your son doesn't become a boxer, I think boxing, we all, even if a daughter, I think I've learned from my own, and again, going back to what we were saying earlier when we were talking about uh, what helped me uh, you know, when I was suffering from depression, it wasn't just one thing. It was the cannabis, but that was just one thing. There was the food. There was the diet. I had to change my diet. I had to change the music I was listening to. I was wow. listening to gangster music. Yeah. I ain't need to do that. I ain't living in the hood no more. Yeah, yeah. Um, I had to change my spending habits. I used to go out and like the ball and do, you know, be the, be the you know, have everything, that the, uh, what's it called, Nevo Riche. Like, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Having everything. Mm -hmm. But then um, I learned that that was something that I was doing also to, to cope with my hurt, with my pain that yeah. I hadn't dealt with as a child. You know, mm -hmm. and as, as a man growing up, uh, I was when I came into money, I was 20 years old. Oh. You know what I'm saying? I was literally homeless a week ago, and now Didn't I come know how to handle it. Right. It, well, I, the handling was go spend, go to the mall, right. go have some fun, um, buy something. Every day it became, that was, became ha a habit right. for me. Um, and then um, as I got older, it was cars, and then it was houses, and it was just, you know, nonstop. So I had to change that as a diet. Again, my food. Uh, the the friends around my my spending habits always had to change for me to to get you know get to where I am and and again the, tr the add to that is exercise I had to start exercising again so in doing that I realized I started releasing endorphins that made me feel good feel yeah. happy that's those happy yeah, endorphins exactly so right. imagine kids doing that opposed right. to getting those endorphins from playing a video playing game yeah Ooh. yeah yeah you don't help that's where everything is right now look, she, look how she look it. our son our 13 yeah. year old he we, we trying to All pull him back yeah, yeah. now pull him out he better yeah. get out there and cut some wood or something <laughs> I ain't that's playing right. with him man I'm sending him to the country <laughs> man I got people down there man we gonna put it on him that's right. the young boy gonna be hey, he gonna be alright make him strong yeah yeah yeah, yeah. so um, New York you do you frequent a a lot of what? No, I mean, not, not as often. Cause you in the, you Miami. you down yeah you down there. It's yeah. sunny down there. I yeah. go down there rain every ninety and just yeah. it stop yeah, every fifteen minutes. <laughs> yeah. You know, fifteen minutes a day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Cool. I can do it. I can yeah, do it. I like you it down have there. That accent, that New York accent. Oh, they don't get rid of that. Then boy, you know my partner to move down there too. Mm. Comrade, he from New York, but he from. Yeah. 
He from Brooklyn too. Oh, all right. Yeah, right. yeah. He be with everybody. LA. No, but he was from Queen, but he grew up in Brooklyn. Okay. Because he be with LL. Okay. He told me, E, you gotta put my pitch up. I'm like, nigga, you don't ever be at the store. Like, they ain't gonna help me none. <laughs> but yeah, I love the energy from New York, man. So growing up in New York, man, everything's so closed in. How was it transferring down to Florida? Well, you know, they say in New York, uh, basically every New Yorker's dream is to make it when you make it first you move to Jersey. And then you, yeah, to, yeah. then you then you retire and move to Miami. So I did the same. Uh, the transact somebody's going to, like so as everyone else. I went the same path. Yeah. I moved to Jersey for about twelve years. Yeah, um, that became my second home, and then I eventually came to Miami in '96, and I made it permanent in 2001, 2000. '96, yeah. a while back. Yeah, yeah. So you just you loving that Miami? Oh, I love Miami, but I travel. I'm in England a lot. I yeah. spend three, four times a year. I'm in England. England. I'm in, you like yeah. England? I love. I've I never love been there. Europe. I love Europe. I love Europe. I have a good I time. I heard it's a very nice place to visit. Yeah, yeah. yeah we got and friends over there. The weather is totally there. different. I heard it's always gloomy. Some places, but it's cool. You got to cool. go the right time. The summer's beautiful. You know what I mean? Yeah. The I, winter's the winter. It's freezing. <laughs> My partner said in Euro they flip. You more money. It, it, everything double. The pounds. Yeah. Yeah, the yeah, pounds. yeah. 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 They said flip the money a little bit better. Yeah. The money. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> Their money is more. Yeah, that's what yeah. I, that's yeah. what he told yeah. me. Yeah, 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 huh? It's more than. Um, yeah, yeah, US. that's what. Yeah, that's just seen a husband, right? right? Yeah, but man, so so let me ask you this, man. That's Growing right. up, uh, New York, uh, doing all the things that you've done, have it been any young uh, boxer that came up under your tutelage that that you helped to get you know come up? Yeah, I discovered a few guys. Um, one one became a world champion that I'm very proud to wow. have met him and brought him over was a guy named Badu Jack. Okay. Yeah, okay. He became the middleweight and, I, and I'm in light heavyweight. He's proud of that. Well. Awesome. Yeah. I met him. You know, I met him in Sweden, and you know, we, I went, moved him to my house, moved him to America. He lived in my house, and when I ran out of money, I said, "Yo, champ," <laughs> <laughs> you know, I let him go, but I said, "You're gonna make it," because I believed in him. You know what I'm saying? But um, he went on to become champion. And we're friends to this day. It's like awesome. a brother, my little brother. Yeah, yeah awesome. that's important, man. You know, that's important to take somebody that's younger. Because you got you got something that some people would the never skills. would never have. No, and I always ask people to sit in that seat. Like, who have you helped? Did you help somebody? Because you got to, right? Yeah, yeah. I, I've helped a lot of. Brothers, I know you helped a lot yeah, of them, yeah, but I'm saying them. it's certain ones when they come up with you, they want to they want to learn, man. I mean, yeah, and you know, it's just giving back. I was fortunate. Again, I was a homeless. Thirteen, teenager. man. They got. It's, you can tell at thirteen that that's when you start. Like, okay, I got to figure this out. Yeah, yeah. Even I, that's our early age to do that. at. Yeah, that's what happened to me. I was that kid, and and so for me to have made it, uh, if I could help somebody, man, I feel like it's the it's the right thing to do. Because look at me, I that had no idea I would ever be in boxing, let alone become a two time heavyweight champion. That little girl, she changed a lot of things too. Oh, everything. That's that. How old is she? She's nine now. That's crazy. Any of your kids on box? Uh, nah, not, not seriously. They do. They train. Actually, they train more than me. Really? <laughs> <laughs> they currently training more than me. Uh, they train with their mom three times a week. Uh, my wife, they all... They oh, go she to, boxes too? She trains as well, yeah. She he ain't training. Time. He's sitting oh, at the house no. talking about, let's go, Jeff. Yeah, I'm serious. Right? Everybody <laughs> in better shape than me. <laughs> Yeah, I yeah that, that's, that's, that's real awesome. though. But that that to me motivates you to get up too, because you can never sit on a chair and what, watch them working out and doing all of that, and you're not getting up as well. I do it yeah. all the time. It has, I'm you just have watching to get them. Up. Not eventually, but I've been, <laughs> but I got something big lined up, man. So I got to get ready. You got to get ready. I got to can't talk about it. I got to fight. You can't talk about it. You can't talk about it. Nobody. I'm about to somebody you got somebody that figured it out. I think Charleston got me somebody. Oh, okay. Well, if we got somebody crazy, hey, they gonna get in now. Yeah. I think so. Say yeah. that's a lot of smoke, man. He said, "Yeah, we are gonna see what he do when the contract come this week." Hey, man, was oh, it Ray Mercer? Uh, you were, you you done you done fought them all, man. Yeah, I you done a fought a lot. You yeah. done fought a lot of people, yeah, it was bro. Fun. I know, but you still look good, <laughs> Thank though. You, champ. Thank you, you know brother. what I'm saying? It's a lot of them. Uh, you know, it, yeah. it take them out of here. They're ugly. Look at them. <laughs> <laughs> all of them ugly. So I want to know. Um, you mentioned that you're married, and yes, you've been married for how long? Uh, I've been with my woman 27 years. That's We've been crazy. Married for about 14 of those. Wow, wow. awesome! Yeah. So she's been by your side yeah. through, through everything. Flat That's broke cool. today. So, <laughs> so with all of that ups and downs, and when you have it, I know that there's a lot of women who probably try to hit on you, try uh -oh. to come at you. Uh oh, yeah. How do you deal with that? Because I've seen a lot of men who don't know how to handle. Wait that popularity. I'm not saying, I'm I'm just asking, how do you handle that? Because you're still together so today. Question. So yeah, yeah. I need to know, how do you handle that? How and do how it? does she handle that yeah. as well? Well, we met young. So it was like, you know, we, we had uh, 
on and off thing. You know, I was young again. I didn't, I didn't plan everything. Was, nothing was planned with me. Mm-hmm. I literally was went to the gym one day, begged my mom to buy me some boots another <laughs> day, and next thing you know, I'm on a USA Olympic team traveling wow. around the world. I had never been on a plane. I'm traveling where I'm literally Quick. homeless. I'm literally living from gym to gym. Yeah, mm-hmm. and I went to a gym and they was like, "Hey, yo, the guys are looking for you for the USA team." I'm like, "What?" They was like, "Yo, they want you to come try out." I, I was like, it. "What?" And I went and here I am today, sitting in front of y'all. Wow, so that's there was crazy. Was no plan. <laughs> Nothing mm-hmm. planned. That um, is so crazy because yeah. at the end of the day, it, it, you can't write it. Nah, you know what I'm saying? It, it can't be scripted. Was planned, right? yeah, I'm, I'm freestyling. But then it's a gift. That, that gift will make room for you. See, that's real. Mm-hmm. So it, it'll take you places. Nice. Man, so you knocking people out and yeah. took you all over the world? All twice. Four times. <laughs> Four times. <laughs> so, so them boys, how old are the boys? Oh, uh, my boy is 23. He's an actor, model. His Mine name is 27. Chan. Chan? And, uh, Chan, yes. Okay. Sir. Chan Briggs. Like, like He's a model? Chan. Man, and yeah, model and actor. He, he got his mother looks. <laughs> he don't look like me. But is the boy, like, he modeling, so is he, he one of them slim guys? Yeah, you know? he in shape. He in tip top shape. Yeah, he's a yeah. handsome boy, you know? Yeah, you know, yeah. He ain't got, he so like, you got a boy and a little girl. And then, no, I got two boys. You got and my two other boys. boy, 15. And I was going to tell you, way. yeah, he, he actually growing out of the video games. Like, he's been doing this since okay. forever. Okay. Now he like, I hope ours do it because ours is 13, and I'm ready for him to grow out of that. Oh, yeah, he is. I think that's the one I saw. Which one is the one I saw? I saw a picture of one, and to me, he resembles you because I look back at a picture of you when you had dreads, mm-hmm. and he just he just light skin like you know his mom. But then I'm like, but he looks just like you. Yeah, you think so? I do. Yeah. The face structure, everything of when you were is that the model? No, I think I, I'm not. That's sure the which model. One yeah, that's the model. Bro. Yeah, the model. <laughs> See, you a good looking dude. Stop looks playing. You should have seen me before, man. You know, boxing really did a job on me. Man. <laughs> Whatever. They really nah, beat up the chair, man. It the, made me ugly like say, this. Man, yeah. so, so go, you have no, no question? Okay, I, I was going to say, man, when I looked at your Instagram, the thing that stuck out to me about you, you don't just put up the wins, you put up the losses, man. Yeah, too. And that helped me, too. I'm like, man, you know, he, he look at himself because that, that show you, okay, it can happen this way or yeah. I can go that way. What make you put, like, you put a, you give it all, you throw it all out there. Yeah, yeah, it's real. You know, like I said, yeah, my mom died on my birthday. She was a heroin addict. My father died in prison. I was a homeless teenager, man. I was. I'm living. I'm living the dream. I'm a li- I'm a dream from a lot of people. I used to sit on the train night after night or a friend's couch and wonder what's gonna happen to me next. And now look at me. I'm traveling. I travel the world. I'm still living it. Nah, you, know you, I mean? you living so, good too. I seen you. Yeah, thank you, brother. I but seen you me, on that camera. Yeah, I'm working hard. I gotta <laughs> keep it. You know what I'm saying? I keep working. That's what I. I'm more than anything. I'm an entrepreneur. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. And and I always I always had that about me. I got it from my mother. Honestly, she was a go getter, and I'm just like her. People meet. Me and they're like, damn, you just like your mama, boy. You know, yeah. so that's how it is. So you cut the rap music off. You don't even fool yeah, I had to leave it alone. It, was, leave it, it, alone. it wasn't for me. It, you know, I, I don't want to kill you, nobody. You said entrepreneurship. <laughs> that's the only reason I said that because that helped a lot of that whole genre as far as to the, the, help them to get into entrepreneurship. Fact, fact. That thing gotta now, about, gotta you got, you was boxing like like Muhammad Ali and all you guys. Y'all had that lane where it was helping the economy, but this rap music really helped. Everybody and help Everybody. the money, you know. For it changed us. the world for black people. Yeah, it did. Rap music. Yeah, I mean, it, it went viral everywhere. And yeah, um, it, and we knew what they was thinking and why they was what they was wearing, especially when the videos came out. We yeah, knew what was happening on the West Coast, now in the South, and you knew what was happening in New York. So it became New York was the one that yeah, started the way. So became, you was in the middle of it, really. You yeah, was the one. You seen it all happen. Grew up in it. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah anybody from your neighborhood that was artists that you grew up with? Yeah. M O P. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, shit, everybody. They all. That, that's why y'all. Right. Brooklyn. We. We. You know. I come from a very. Uh, a very uh, small neighborhood, a mile, uh, they say a mile, a mile point eight. Yeah. Uh, we have all uh, the most projects in any place in the world. We literally have like Browns. We got, t- it's so many, I can sit here and name about 10 different housing developments and we was all packed in. You feel me? I lived yeah. in Atlantic Towers. I lived down the hill in Marcus Garvey. Um, I lived in East New York. I lived in Flatbush, East Flatbush. I lived in Crown Heights. I lived Ooh. in Best Side. So I lived over Brooklyn. All over. Brownsville was where I was the most. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but the thing I can say is, man, um, <clears throat> okay, I got a question for you, a good question, True. something me and her talk about all the time, mm-hmm. and you'll know this because you're a traveling man. Uh, what pizza the best, Chicago or New York? New York, champ. <laughs> Come on, man. Come on. <laughs> oh, look how she looked. Man. I knew I was going to get my answer. Oh, I'm on, with man. you. Yeah. <laughs> best pizza in the world. I love, I love my deep dish pizza, which you can, pizza. Only get, <laughs> which you can only get in Chicago. That's not pizza. Oh, yo, you got you got <laughs> a couple of people agree with them, but nah, this me and you, man. Nah, we did it. That. That's not pizza, man. No. Charles, did you get you some of that pizza I when you was in there? Oh, man. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, I think I'm with you. The New York thing is serious, bro. So you miss that, and you can't get that taste. I heard a guy tell me, he said, man, you can't get that taste, man, because the water is, the water. is what make that taste. Yeah, you can't get it nowhere else. You know I've been researching. I'm like, I gotta get that piece of here. I'm gonna me up a piece of plates. I'm gonna do it like New York. They said, nah, it ain't happening, champ. Yeah. For real, for real, it's that water. So, so any more question for no, no. Man, we thank you, man. man um, thank you, just, champ. just for coming on the show, man. It's a blessing to be able to meet you, man. Hey, man, the legend, man. Let's Two go, time, champ. man. Let, let's go, champ. Let's go, champ. Man, I'm gonna be chatting that all the way to the house, <laughs> man. You want right. to ask him a question? You're not gonna ask sure. about no rap music. Yeah, yeah. it no, doesn't you, have to be rap music. Okay, yeah, it. you're right. You're right. I'm sorry. Don't, we got a question go we there. ask everybody. No, I love it. again to okay. go back. I love rap music. Don't get me wrong, but for me, I felt as though to grow and to where I was at. I don't and understand exactly where you're coming from. She like you. She understands. Yeah, I don't that. really listen to yeah, that yeah, I as hear much. That. Yeah, I don't even want to hear about somebody singing about love and hate and what they've been through. I just want to hear beats. Okay. Yeah. I'm, That's listen, y'all just like it. Trying, <laughs> But if you're rapping, but rapping positivity, yeah. I'm all down with yeah. it. Yeah, you you're know rocking with that. That's what I like. Yeah. But um, list your top three artists of all time, she dead or alive, any genre. Ooh. Yeah, and any genre. Only three. Any I knew genre. she was going to get you. We asked every, everybody to come on here that. Yeah. Yeah, any yeah. genre. It could be. You know, Diana Ross. I don't know. It could be Frankie, Beverly Mays. It's a lot of, it's a lot. It could be, uh, 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 what's that boy that died? Uh, Teddy Pendergraft was something. Ooh, that was, was a bad special. boy right yeah, there, man. Teddy P was something. Say, man. So is that your number one? Um, You know, that's a hard question to just come out <laughs> top. I'm going to be honest with you, man. Damn, that was a tough one. <laughs> do we do every, everybody say the same yeah. thing, too. What's my boy named from Earth, Wind, and Fire? He was a hell of a voice, oh, too. Oh, man, you had to ask me, too. He was bad. He changed it. Along. The reason, he changed that voice. Ooh, he changed that voice. He changed that voice. He changed that voice. Yeah. So, Earth, Wind, and Fire. Yep, yep. And uh, what, so, that was a good one. Yeah. Earth, Wind, and Fire. Ooh, come on. And she's still alive. Patty, man. Patty. Patty. Oh, she's yeah. smooth, man. Yeah, Patty. I think that's her first Patty LaBelle. That's our first Patty LaBelle. What? Oh, Yeah, 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 yeah. Angela Wimbush. Well, I just had a dude to remix one. Of, is Angela Winbush. What? Smoothie remix one of her songs. Oh, What's her song? Man. Oh, man. What's Angel. Uh, uh, the one. Uh, it Angel. 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 But he, oh, he got it. I think it's a little bit. Y'all ain't ready. Hey, we better get the mics <laughs> ready. Fight, but I can't <laughs> <laughs> so that, that, that's a good top three. Okay. All right, man. Thank but you. I love music, so I could have kept going. But oh, man, yeah, yeah. But no, 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 no. That music sound amazing. You got to have it. Oh, it's amazing. It set the mood. It's our soul. It's soul music, man. Yeah, our, man. You said Teddy Pendergrass, Ooh, man. come on. Say, man. Turn it off. And that's, yeah. the, <laughs> first. <laughs> that's the first Teddy Pendergrass. Yeah, that's first well. Teddy, man. Teddy was a bad boy, man. Hey, they caught him in some stuff. But yeah, he's yeah. a bad boy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? What's that other song, man? It's going to come to me when I leave. The one for Teddy? No, it was another guy, man. It's a hit, man. Damn. It's, yeah, all kind it's, of it's a bunch of them. There's so many. Man. Oh man, and a that bunch. soul music is unreal. That soul but you music know what? is so we unreal. We have to keep playing those songs for our young ones to hear because so many of the young they ones lost don't in the even know who these people are. They and lost if we in don't the play sauce. them for them to hear. You know what I mean? You have to pass that down for generations right. to come. So you listen to what Jamaican music, of course. I listen yeah. to it too. Okay. I listen, to, but I love R and B. So Buju, Buju can. I love no. Oh, that's so. so we supposed to have get Sean Paul. I'm, I'm waiting we on it. We probably, yeah, we're Sean trying to get Sean Paul on the show. What's my man name? He died. He was in the movie Belly. He came to my house. I had a party oh, one time. What was his name? Cuddy um, Ranks. Cuddy yeah. Ranks. Cuddy yeah. Ranks. Yeah, yeah, I remember him. Yeah, yeah, he yeah. came to my house. I had a party one time. Oh, awesome. I never forget that. Man, you know, yeah, yeah, hey man, that that that. I wish I could have got to meet him. He yeah. he had that movie lit too. Yeah. It was real yeah. dark though. Yeah. That movie was the darkest movie I ever seen. Yeah, that's, <laughs> my, that's my man. Came to my house. Rest Say, in peace. Rest man, in rest in peace, peace yeah. man. Yes. So, hey man, thank you so much for coming thank on the show, bro, man. Appreciate God bless you, bro, man. Say, man, hey man, and anytime you're in Dallas, man, you. Gotta let me know oh, what's I'm going on. To I'm moving oh, to Dallas. I don't believe it. Yeah. You, so might, you, you, might, you might buy a house here, but you ain't. You look too comfortable in Florida. Oh, man. I'm gonna go back and man. Florida. I see you, man. You over there are just. Hey, I seen that water behind you. Oh man, oh, don't I love water? <laughs> I was down there. I can't stay down there. I'm in the room oh, just staring well, at the water, you man. Back, you gotta come see. I'm gonna come see you. Let's yeah, because her, her uncle is down there. He in Homestead. Okay. Yeah, he's not too far. No, no, I just driving all up. Yeah, yeah, man. So thank you for coming on the show, man. Shannon Briggs, man. You changed the life, man. Boss talk. 101. Chill. And we out.